Hey guys, it's Tara here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be filming a get ready with me on this look that I created. And if you want to see what I did, then keep on watching. So first off, we're going to be using some primer. Today I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I'm just going to be placing that all over my face. And for foundation, I'm going in with Isadora. And I'm just going to be placing a little bit of product on the back of my hand and blending it out with a Real Technique brush. I'm just doing circular motions all over my face to really get that product in. So I'm going to be mixing the Cover FX foundation with the Isadora just to get a fuller coverage. And then blending that out all over my face. So for concealer, we're going to start off with some color correcting. I'm going to be using Peach from LA Girl and then going in with Light Ivory. So for color correcting, I'm just going to be using that under my eyes just to mask the dark circles that I may have and then just blending that out. After we're done with that, we're going to go in with Light Ivory and placing that underneath our eyes to highlight the eye and down the bridge of my nose and some areas that I do have around my face. And we're just going to be doing dabbing motions and blending that out just to get every product in evenly and flawlessly. So after I blend that out, I'm going to go in with Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. And just going to be using that to highlight my skin. And we're just going to be using an oval brush to blend that out. Next up, I'm going to be using the Chanel Soleil Tan just to bronze up my face. I'm going to be using an e.l.f. small stippling brush and just carving out my cheekbones and going around my forehead and then just blending that out. A little bit of the product does go a long way so you don't want to be using too much and you just want to keep blending until everything's blended out properly. Next up we're going to be using a small brush just to carve out our nose and contour it to make it look slimmer. I'm just going to be drawing two straight lines down the bridge of my nose. And then around the tip of my nose, I'm just going to be drawing a straight line through and then just blending everything out. It was actually the first time I used this brush and honestly, it worked wonders. I've never <laughs> got my nose to look so slim. And then we're just going to be taking a Real Technique brush to blend that out. Just any harsh lines that I do have. And now we're going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and then just going to be baking underneath our eyes. And cleaning up some harsh lines that we do have. So I'm just going to be using an angled brush from e.l.f. and just packing the product underneath my eyes and just setting the foundation that we had and then going underneath our chin and around the forehead and maybe around the mouth and puffing out my cheeks to really get the smile lines and then going underneath the contouring that we did to clean it up a bit. I'm just going to be packing on a bit more and after we do that, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown and then just brushing out my eyebrows with a spoolie. So next up, we're going to be using this wax by MAC and we're just going to be pressing that down on our eyebrows to set our eyebrows in place. And then I'm going to be going in with the pomade and then just going around the edges because this product does dry out for me. So to actually collect the product, I have to go around the edges. And I'm just going to be doing feather-like strokes and filling in any areas that kind of have some bald spots or need a little more cleaning up or, or just adding a bit more product to get a better shape. I'm just going to be continuing to do feather-like strokes until I get the shape that I want. And after we do that, we're going to go in back with the spoolie and brush it out so all our hairs are going in the same direction. We're now going to go off with the eyeshadow primer from e.l.f. and we're just going to be placing that all over our eyelids and using our fingers to blend that out to get a smooth finish. And then we're going to go in with the Morphe and Kathleen Lights eyeshadow palette and getting the lightest shade and dusting that all over our eyelids to set the eyeshadow primer that we had placed. So now we're going to take that orange shade right in the middle and placing that in our crease and using that as our transition shade and blending that out back and forth just to diffuse the look and get a nice finish. And then we're going to go in with that purple shade and putting that in the outer corners and blending that out into our crease. So yeah, I had to keep that in there because that song is my track right now. But we're going to go and continue to blend that eyeshadow out and now we're going to take a fluffier brush, this one's from Beach Cosmetics, and really diffuse that look. 
Now we're going to go in with the camel shade and placing that in the outer corners and blending that into the crease to add more definition. Now I'm going to go in with the gray shade in the palette and I'm going to be placing that in the outer corner of my eyes to really smoking up the look. I'm just going to be blending that back and forward until it's blended out properly. Now I'm going to go in with the nice shimmer shade right beside the gray tone and placing that all over my eyelid to really make the eyes pop and complete the look. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just blend out all the powder and make sure everything's blended out and a trick that I like to do is pinch the brush and go around the edges of my eyes so it really gets a sharp clean eyeshadow look. So, so for my eyeliner what I like to do is make small strokes and then make a triangle shape at the end and then connect the lines to really get a nice crisp line and then just making small strokes until I get the line that I want. So once I get the line that I like, I'm going to go in back with the palette and grab that camel shade and put that underneath my eyes and just to complete the eyeshadow look and make everything come together. So funny story, somebody just crashed in front of my house, so I had to stop recording and go investigate. But yeah, so, so we're going to continue blending and then taking that nice gold shade in the palette and placing that in the inner corners of our eyes to really make the eyes pop. Next, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. palette. It has two blush tones and one highlight and one contour shade. And I'm just going to be using that blush shade and then just putting that all over my cheeks and buffing it out. So now we're going to go in with that contour shade and then just buff it out on my face and really making the contour pop. Now we're going to go back with the same palette and use the highlight. This one wasn't really paying off so I had to end up spraying the brush and placing it on my cheekbones. And then I just quickly did my lashes off camera and then just going in with Velvet Teddy and putting that all over my lips. They sleeping, they sleeping, they sleeping, they sleeping on me. So this is the final look that I created and if you did enjoy it please smash the like button and hit subscribe and I'll see you next time on my next video and bye.